Hey, Alec Pierce at the ranch, chicken tractor two. If you were watching my videos, you know that several, a little while ago, we had an episode on building a chicken tractor, which to be honest, is just a chicken coop with wheels on it. And it's worked out really, really well. Now I built this from scratch. I didn't have any plans or anything. I saw a couple of pictures and I just went to work and built this. Uh, the biggest job was making those brackets for the wheels because this whole rig made out of four by fours and two by fours is pretty heavy. So we have it on wheels and a handle at this end so we can pick it up and move it around. It worked really, really well. You can see we've come right up here and right back down over about, I think it was maybe three weeks ago. Every couple of three days we move it. It gives them nice fresh grass to, uh, to uh, pick at. And the chickens sure love it. Uh, one thing we found is if it's raining, if it's wet, then, then the, the section that the chicken coop is uh, sitting on gets really muddy in a hurry. So we, after it rains heavily for a day or maybe two, then we move it right away. But anyway, the chicken coop, the chicken tractor has worked out really, really well. I've made a couple of changes, hence chicken tractor two. A couple of changes. First of all, we wanted to be able to feed them and water them like maybe once a week, not too often. I didn't, I didn't want a lot of work. At my age, I'm not looking for a project to give me a lot of work, a lot of maintenance. Hence a chicken tractor. We can just pull it around instead of cleaning up, you see. But we had we ran into a little issue with the water. Because the water bucket that we decided to get, really, really handy, is also heavy when it's full. So we had to fill it and lift it in, and it was just a nuisance. So what I did very simply was I built a shelf. I made a little trap door here in the screen, not a problem. And I built a shelf down there just off the bottom. And and the water bottle sits in there. So now I either run over with a hose. Or run over with a with a five gallon pail or something like that. Fill up the water bottle. It, it doesn't move. It just sits there. I don't have to lift it. I don't have to move it at all. It just sits there. And when we move the chicken tractor around, it's off the ground. It moves with it. No big deal. A couple other small things. I put in a couple more roosts. I've got. Uh, we had six chickens. We lost one chicken uh, to a, a minor problem, which is uh, unique to chickens. Don't worry about it. And uh, anyway, so we have now five chickens. And it seems to work out really well. We have five happy chickens, and we know they're happy because all five lay an egg every day. Yeah, we're getting five eggs a day. We eat a lot of eggs. Five eggs a day does the trick. And every day we get five eggs. Now, if we get five eggs a day, seven days of the week, we don't necessarily eat five eggs seven days of the week. So we have a few left over for the neighbors and my family. But it's worked out really, really well. The chickens are really happy. So I put a couple extra roosts in, though. There wasn't enough roost before for all the chickens if they wanted to all roost at the same time. So I have a couple of extra roosts, and we know they like the roosts because the roosts are getting well used. How do I know that? Just look at them. Chickens are not the cleanest animals in the world. They have dirty feet. Look at the roost. The roost was nice, new, clean, painted. Now it's not. So we know they're getting used. Uh, nothing else has changed too much in this front half. Uh, the back has been a little bit different. A couple of things I did. We wanted to change, be able to change the, uh, the uh, sawdust, the wood chips. We're using, uh, uh, I think they're called wood chips, not really sawdust, wood chips. This stuff anyway, which you can get anywhere. It's pretty cheap to buy that. Uh, that's what we want to use. It's easy to work with. And then we're just using that as a kind of a mulch anyway. We're getting rid of it. But it was a, it was a little bit of a mess when we put it inside the coop to clean that out each time. And I didn't want the wooden floor. It's a wooden floor in here. It got, I got some drain holes in it drilled in it, of course. But I didn't want that wooden floor to get badly damaged. So I wanted to put something to protect the wood in there. I looked at aluminum, piece of galvanized steel, a couple other things. But, um, but uh, nothing was just perfect, getting the right size. But I found this. Yeah, it's an old uh, WeatherTech floor mat out of a pickup truck that I had kicking around. And uh, as it happens, I was able to cut it. It fits perfectly. Of course, WeatherTech, it'll last forever. So that goes in first. And then the, uh, the fresh uh, wood, uh, wood chips sit on top of that. And then inside, you'll be able to see the nest. I've got a picture of the nest, actually, so you'll be able to see those nests. I put an extra roost in here as well. So the chickens seem really happy. As a matter of fact, we want the chickens to go in at night every night. And they seem to have learned that on their own. I don't know if it's natural or not. I, I don't think like a chicken. I think more like a turkey. But anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, but it seems about the time it gets dark, about dusk, it starts to get, the chickens automatically go into the coop and they sit there and wait. And then a little later, whenever we uh, get, get a, a moment, we just come out and close the door to the coop and they're perfectly safe for the night. So it seems to work out really, really well. And then at the back, our, uh, our actual nests are working perfectly. I have a picture as well of the nests with eggs in them. I told you we get five eggs a day. I got this pin on there. You lift that. 
there's our three nests. We're getting uh, five five eggs a day, and here's here's some eggs. There's a picture of some eggs, and uh, five eggs every day. So overall, we're pretty pleased with it. A couple of small things I might have done a bit differently, but nothing major. And now we have uh, this chicken tractor that I showed you a few weeks ago, and it's working really, really well. The tractor aspect, meaning we can move it around very easily. Uh, you know, it's not light, so I usually come out and give Diana a hand. I push, and she just lifts the front, and we just push it 12 feet. It's 12 feet long. We push it 12 feet. Chickens have brand new grass. We have lots of grass here. We just keep moving it around. They're happy. We're happy. Not too much maintenance. Five eggs a day, and at this point in time, a little bit of feed. They don't seem to eat that much. A little bit of feed, a little bit of water, five eggs a day. Where's the beef? Well, that's down in the other field, actually. Uh, anyway, no, the chicken tractor is working out really well. So those of you that saw my uh, chicken tractor, the original uh, episode, uh, and, and you're looking at it, and you have some ideas on there, gosh, send me some of your comments. If you have ideas as well, there are some questions, I'd be happy to help you. But as far as I can see, as far as we're concerned, our uh, chicken tractor has worked out really, really well, pretty much as we had planned. The chickens seem happy. We've got eggs. Everything's working really well. I thought I'd share those last couple of tips with you. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch.